Hi, I am going to create a Screencastify. I'm actually doing it right now to use as an example to show you how to upload a Screencastify to YouTube and then to use an, a website like safeshare.tv in order to share it with your students in a safe way. Because uploading videos to YouTube and then sharing them safely is the easiest way for students and our families to access videos on our remote learning day. So this is really important information for you to learn. All right, so I'm gonna stop this Screencastify and I'm gonna start a new one to show you how to make that happen. Okay, so you can see I make it a Screencastify of a Screencastify. Kind of weird, but this is the Screencastify that I just created. And then I am going to go to publish to YouTube. Do you see that right here? publish to YouTube. I'm going to press that. And my YouTube channel was already linked. I'm going to cancel that in a minute. But when I press it, then you can see how it says add a YouTube channel. So if your YouTube channel is not already linked, you can add one. If you don't have a YouTube channel, it is super easy to create one. So I can even show you how to do that. It's very easy. So I'm going to make my video public because when I use a, a way to share it safely, it needs to be a public video. So I'm gonna make it public. And then I'm going to, you see my YouTube channel is Alice Napsey. I am going to, I could title it, which is handy rather than just the date. Or if you just want it the date and time, you can just take off the untitled part. And I'm going to upload it. Now all my subscribers are going to get that awesome video. I'm not a YouTube star, there's not many subscribers. Okay, so I'm going to go to view on YouTube and hopefully that will allow all of, us, all of us to view it on YouTube. So, they're processing the video, but once it's processed, then I'm going to be able to hit the share button and I'm going to copy this link. Then I'm going to go to either SafeShare TV safeshare.tv, I'm going to go to Safe YouTube. Now I learned from Ben Ashby that I can do unlimited videos on the Safe YouTube, but this one we're a little nervous about because it did get hacked at one point, um, but it seems like it's safe right now. They've updated it. Now in Safeshare TV, with this free version, you only can link and share 10 videos. So I don't wanna waste one of mine on this example, so I'm going to go to Safe YouTube. I'm going to paste that link and generate a new safe link, then I'm going to copy that link. And that is the link that I'm going to share in Seesaw or Google Classroom, share with students and families. So you can watch this over and over again if you need to, in order to figure out how to safely share a YouTube video that you created and uploaded. Now I'm gonna to go to YouTube and I'm going to show you, so if you didn't want to create a video on Screencastify, it's easy on Screencastify because it will upload it directly to YouTube. But if you have a video on your desktop that you want to upload to YouTube, you can do that too. So you go to this create button right here, and then you just go to upload video, and then you're going to find your video in your files. Looks like it's taking just a second. So then I'm going to go to select files and that will bring up my desktop and I'll be able to select the file that I want from there. Then you can name it, you can make it public. That's really important. Um, but it is super easy to upload videos from Screencastify, but you don't have to use Screencastify. We have teachers who like to use Zoom to create their videos or I like to use iMovie to create my videos and this is how I do it. I upload them. I actually create them on my phone and then I upload them directly to YouTube from my phone. Super easy also. All right, you guys, I'm going to stop this, stop sharing. Um, maybe I'll go to YouTube for YouTube a minute and then I don't know what this is, but we're going to pause it. Oops, we'll just pause you. And then you're going to go up to the corner where you see your picture because YouTube is connected to Google. I can just go to my channel, but you're if you haven't created a channel, you're going to have a create a channel option there. So 
So that's where you can very easily create your YouTube channel. Because again, YouTube is connected to Google. So it's going to read your you know, Google account and you can just easily create a channel. Of course, you have so many people in your buildings who are willing to help. If you have any questions at Quincy, see me or see Ben Ashby or Lisa Johnson and in any other building, like we're happy to help you, but you can also see your tech teachers or your tech experts in your building. So, okay. Good luck, everybody.